Hi, how's everybody doing? It's Crazy Monkey here again. Part three of the vlog. Part three of the vlog, y'all. Part three of the vlog. Another thing we gotta do to rebuild the family and save marriage. This is a little controversial, but we gotta do it. It's the only way. Prostitution needs to be legalized. That's right. We need to eliminate the welfare. We need to eliminate the vagina money. Eliminate the alimony. Another thing we gotta do is we gotta legalize prostitution. That's right. We need to have cat houses, prostitution houses everywhere from sea to shiny sea. We need to have a prostitution cat house in Chicago, in New Orleans, in Miami, in New York City, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Anchorage, Alaska, even here in Ogden, Utah. We need to have the cat houses everywhere. We need to have the prostitution cat houses everywhere. In every city, there needs to be a red light district where a man can go with his paycheck. Imagine the scene. You're a guy. You just got off work on a Friday night with your $900 paycheck in your pocket. And you go to the cat house. And you cash your check and they give you $900. And they say, would you be interested in any of the fine female entertainment of the night? And you look at the little black book at the Victorian cat house. It's just a little black book, about this big by this big. You just flip the pages on all the beautiful women, and you see this beautiful woman all over the, the, the little black book. You got an ebony lady. She's sexy and skinny. And you got two Asian chicks at the same time. That's the menage a trois special. That will set you back like 500 or 1,000 bucks if you get the menage a trois special. And then you got a bimbo, a blonde hair, a sexy lady, she's like 21, and then you got the two identical twins, and they're both blonde hair, blue eyes, in their early 20s, and they're identical twins, and they're both sexy and skinny as fuck. And then you just keep turning the pages, and there's just so many opportunities for you. And to make sure, to make sure the Victorian cat house never gets protested by those filthy, disgusting, left-wing communist, I can assure you, I can assure you, if I'm ever the owner-operator of a Victorian cat house, you know, because I'm going to save 10, 20, 30 grand, maybe even 50 grand, I'm going to save that money, because I want to be part owner of one of these um, legalized Victorian cat houses. I want to be the part owner. You know, if you could build a Victorian cat house in a city like Chicago, New York, L.A., and the the, the cost was like one or two million. I want to be part owner. Whether that's 10,000 investment or 50,000 investment, I want to be part owner. I want to invest my 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000. I want to invest in that cat house. I want to be part owner. That's right. And one of the things I want to do about all you filthy communists, you fucking Antifa, you communist, you communist, Antifa, socialist pieces of shit. What I want to do, y'all, let me check the battery life. We still going. We still going, but the cameras are shut down soon. What I want to do with these Victorian cows is we're going we're gonna to make it so the filthy fucking communists and these feminazis, they can never shut us down. Once we get opened up, they ain't never going to shut us down. You know why? Because we're going to have black ladies working with the Victorian cows. We're going to have Asian ladies, white ladies, bimbos, blonde hair, blue eyes. We're going to have all the ladies, Latino ladies, we can have all ladies of all different races. That way you can't ban us. You can't say we're racist because we're going to have ladies of all races as long as they're sexy and they're skinny and they're beautiful. They just can't be land whales. Sorry, sorry. No land whales at the Victorian cat house. No land whales. Just the sexy skinny ladies that look good. Just the sexy skinny ladies that look good. You know what I'm saying? And we're even going to have like two she males. That's right. That's right, we'll even have two she-male, like a transsexual she-male, well, a she-male and a transsexual working at the Victorian cows. Should we do that because in case any of the people protest us, we'll then call up the she-male and the transsexual. We'll say, you need to have a counter-protest to protect the Victorian cat house. And then they will have a counter-protest with like 200 people having a counter-protest. We will make sure the Victorian cow house stays open and operating for your enjoyment. 
and we will make sure that the buyer is fully stocked at the Victorian Cat House. That's right, we have a fully stocked buyer at the Victorian Cat House, too. And we have a restaurant, too. You go into the Victorian Cat House, y'all. You go in, you get your little black book, it's like this big, you see which woman you want. Let's say you pick the Menage a Trois special, it's like $900 or something, whatever it costs. You pick that, then you go over to the dining room, you get yourself some smoked salmon, some Alaskan sockeye smoked salmon. You're eating your dinner, that's all free of charge on the Victorian cows because you already bought your $900 package with two blonde bimbos at once or two Asian chicks at once, whatever the fuck you want. You could even have the she male and the transsexual if you want. You can have it any way you want. You get your fucking menage a trois package, you know what the fuck I'm saying? And then you go to the fucking bar, you get your smoked salmon from Alaska, Alaska sockeye salmon, and then you get the, we're going to have you some vodka, we're going to have you some whiskey, we're going to have you some Alaskan, we're going to have you some Heineken beer, we're going to have you some Heineken beer, you drink the Heineken, Alaskan beer, we're going to have you the vodka, the whiskey, it's going to be freaking epic, man. And then the two lovely ladies from upstairs in the Victorian cows on the second floor, they're going to come downstairs and get you after they put on all their makeup and their, their um, I don't know if I should say, Victoria is a city in Canada, you know, Victoria is a city in Canada, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to say the actual name, but they're putting on their pennies. They're, you know, Victoria is a city in Canada, and they're putting on their pennies and their sexy lingerie. These two lovely, lovely ladies are putting on their sexy lingerie, and they come down to the dining room, and they, they come sit at your table. They sit at your table, they have a drink, too. They have a drink of the whiskey vodka, too. And then you go upstairs to the second floor, and you get your sex on, bro. That's right, you get your sex on, you get your, you get the deluxe package, man, you get the jacuzzi suite, you get the jacuzzi suite, you get like several hours with two lovely ladies at once, they're both beautiful, they're both skinny, they're both sexy as fuck, and you can have sex with them all fucking night long, it's fucking great, man, and you got a bottle of whiskey, bottle of vodka with these two women, you can do all the sex you need to do, you know what I'm saying, that's the Victorian cows, and when this shit gets legalized, when prostitution gets legalized, it has got to be legalized, folks. Because once it gets legalized, I personally want to be the owner of one of these, one of these Victorian cat houses, and I hope these cat houses get opened up in Miami and New York City and New Orleans and Chicago and San Francisco and Los Angeles and Anchorage, Alaska, and even here in Ogden, Utah. I hope these cat house prostitution houses, I hope they get opened up all over the place. And another reason why we need to do this, why we need to legalize prostitution, folks. We need to legalize prostitution. Let me check to make sure the camera's still going. Oh my God, we've already gone seven minutes? Damn. All right, another reason why we need to legalize prostitution is because it gets that gold digger, that gold digger hypergamy under control. That's right, because you got a lot of these beta male simps out there, they're telling women how great they are. They're buying women these $200 dinner deals. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck that shit. Sorry, y'all. I'm a little, I'm a little messed up right now. But fuck that beta male. That beta male shit, man. Fuck that. Fuck that beta male. Bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So once the cat houses, the prostitution houses get legalized, you don't have to take a woman out five times to some fancy restaurant. You don't have to spend all this money. You don't have to tell her how beautiful she is. You don't have to tell her how great she is. You don't have to comment on her stupid Twitter profile or her stupid Instagram how beautiful she is. You don't have to deal with that bullshit, bro. You just go to Victorian cows, you get yourself two women at once, you get yourself two women at once, and then you go skiing the next day. That's right, you go skiing in the mountains the very next day. And what that will do on a massive scale, that will lower the gold digger hypergamy dramatically. The gold digger hypergamy will get lowered and lowered and lowered dramatically. And when these women see all these Victorian cat houses opening up in their cities, they will realize that if they fuck up their life, they could be working at the Victorian cat house too. And they will realize that when they get a husband, they better be good to their husband. They better be good to their husband. Because if they get divorced, because if they're a gold digging whore, they might wind up at the Victorian cat house. And because they don't want to wind up at the Victorian cat house, they don't want to be seen as a gold digging whore, they'll be good to their husband. And they'll be good to their husband, and that will promote marriage, and that will promote the family. And I just want to say that real quick. Legalize prostitution. Get these Victorian cow houses open and operating as soon as frickin' possible.